arrested. And it's just been more than a month since Damar Hamlin collapsed on the football field. An electric shock to his heart saved his life and shocked the world. This weekend, a similar scary event at a high school basketball game happened much closer to home. CBS 58's Amanda Becker tells us what happened. All eyes were on the court Friday night as the Arrowhead boys basketball team took on an important game against Catholic Memorial, but those eyes quickly turned to the stands during a medical emergency. It was late in the game when a student collapsed in the bleachers. Uh, came in initially as a fainting unconscious. Heartland emergency responders received the call around 818 PM. We were out the door in 35 seconds and at Arrowhead within two minutes. But that two minute trip was crucial. And according to dispatch, the staff at Arrowhead was already putting an AED on the student. Apply pads to patient's bare chest. It sounded like there was a lot of people around yet still in the, in the gym area. The device made headlines after it was credited for saving NFL safety DeMar Hamlin's life on the football field. Heartland Fire Chief says all of the schools in the district have them. The schools have them close to the gyms. And he says most teachers are trained in CPR, which also includes AED training. It's an important reminder for everyone to always know where the closest AED is. Students somewhat, teachers a lot. You know, they're the ones that are going to be the first ones there probably performing CPR. Heartland Fire and EMS was able to assess the student and take him to the hospital. The patient was talking at the time and able to answer questions. And thanks to the quick action of Arrowhead staff, he was awake when they arrived. Both teams decided to postpone the game that evening, and it was picked up Saturday morning. Reporting in the town of Merton, Amanda Becker, CBS 58 News.